This one's a hard SAT geometry problem, and it's a tough little problem. There is a geometric proof going on in this problem, but let's see if we can get around that proof, not really deal with it, still get it right. So you've got to redraw the figure as I'm doing now, and you just kind of got to copy all the information that Evil Testing Service gives you. It does not take nearly as long as it's taking me. And then what do they tell you about the figure? They tell you that BD is 6, so you write that on your figure. And they tell you that AD is 8, so you write that on your figure. What are you looking for? You're looking for DC, so make a little mark on it. Draw attention to always know what you're looking for. What's going on here is there's two triangles that share a side. There is a proportion to tell you what the lengths of the sides are. So we're not dealing with the hypotenuses because they don't ask us about the hypotenuses. ETS asks us about the two other sides. And here's the proportion. The long side in the triangle on the left is related to the short side in the tri triangle on the left in the exact same way that the long side in the triangle on the right is related to the short side on the tri triangle on the right. So here's the triangle on the left. Because they share a side, there's a proportional, proportional relationship in the same sides in the triangle on the right. So what is the long side in the triangle on the left? Is it 8 or is it 6? It's 8 because it's longer. The short side's obviously 6. Here's where you can mess it up. What's the long side in the triangle on the right? Just look at it. Is it 6 or is it the one you don't know? 6 looks longer, so it's 6. And the one you don't know, what do you say when you don't know? You say x. And now you just have a fraction, equal sign fraction, and so you cross multiply. 8x equals... 36, and then you get x by itself, so you divide by 8 on both sides. You throw 36 divided by 8 in your calculator, and you get 4.5. And that's all you got to do.